takes up my time And I don't really break too easily But I'm worth it Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight Oh, oh, oh. So give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars Oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind Just watch me break it Everybody. welcome back to my channel had a productive morning if you watched the last vlog feeling so good it has been a while since I've picked up the camera though because Zane had work in the afternoon today so he wanted to be able to work and if you didn't know he's a music producer so we have to coordinate a lot of the time because I can't have music blasting in the background nor can he work while I need to film our jobs just really clash in that way and so we always do a really good job of coordinating but um today he like really wanted to work on music until he went to work so i kind of got a lot of like computer things and random things done and then now i'm just picking up the camera in the afternoon now he's at work me and you get to spend some time you know but I feel really good. I got a video edited and uploaded. I got my workout in. I got some um, brand stuff sent in for approval. So now I'm taking a chill pill. I got a burst of motivation this morning because yesterday I like did not have any. And lately I've just been struggling on and off with productivity. And I feel like I'm usually really good about that. So right now I'm just watching a Skillshare class on productivity. And this is actually the CEO of Skillshare, which is really cool. The co-founder and CEO. And and as he's speaking, I'm like, I do all of these things. I just need to hear it again and implement it. And some of the tips and tricks, definitely, I'm I'm getting some new information. But a lot of, like, the base things he's saying, I'm like, it makes me feel better. Because I'm like, okay, I'm, like, a pretty productive person. I just sometimes have bursts of and waves of, like not being very motivated and productive which is so normal and human and it's fine but really just hearing something over again makes me like feel so good you guys know that i talk about skillshare all the time i genuinely love their website so thank you so much to them for partnering with me today if you've never heard of them before they're an online learning community they have thousands of classes millions of users and it honestly is for everybody i know i say this every single time but it's so true like if you're a professional at something if you're a beginner if you just want to try a new hobby like i always think there is something to learn even if you learn one little fact it's good for your brain you know i never want to become that person and please slap me through the screen if i do that thinks they like know everything about a topic and they can't learn anything else like there is always something to learn even if it's just a refresher in your brain like it's always good to like have that open mindset you know the classes are really awesome because they're broken up into lessons so you really can fit them into any schedule as you can see here like the first one's a minute and 44 seconds the next one's six minutes so if you want to watch a few one day a few the next it's very easy to do so if you go down here there's also a little section on reviews so before you even start a class you can see what people thought of it how they rated it and everything like that there's so many different topics on here so there's definitely something for everybody if you want to learn something specific like videography there's classes on that I've watched cooking classes, productivity classes, business classes. One of the best parts is that they're curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes. So you can always stay like creative, something new, something fun, something fresh. And it's less than $10 a month with the annual subscription. So you deserve it. The videos are great. They're high quality, really easy to follow along. You can take in information really easily. So definitely recommend. So the first 1,000 of my subscribers that click the link at the top of my description will get a free trial of the premium membership so you can explore your creativity go check it out if you've been wanting to try it now's your chance enjoy all right we've got a lot of miscellaneous things to do i really want to clean up around here so we're gonna do that and then i think i want to wrap zane's valentine's day present there's one more that's coming in the mail but um i think i want to wrap up what i have so far even though way in advance but he's not here right now and it's like seems like something fun to do um for dinner we're gonna finally try to make again these crab wontons so i've had everything Things sitting out defrosting and stuff. I just have some lump crab meat and the wonton wrappers. We're gonna make them in the air fryer. It's from 
the Skinny Taste Air Fryer Cookbook. And then on the side, we're just doing some frozen chicken. But um, we're gonna make these homemade in the air fryer, so it should be yummy. Zane is not gonna be home till late tonight, so he's gonna heat up his dinner. So we're gonna um, make this sooner than later because I'm actually getting pretty hungry. But first, <laughs> it's so bad. Zane did this huge pile, and so I need to put it away and do this pile. It's not that bad. There's just like um, two glasses holding up this cutting board, so it's really not terrible. It just needs to be done. Also, the garbages are all full, so I want to condense all of those together. Oh, you know, I also would like to take off all these stickers on the art. There's one in here. There's... Bailey, get your booty off my laptop. What are you doing? Look at Benji's in the freaking swinging thing. I love it. There's a sticker on that one, I'm pretty sure. There's one in the bathroom, so I want to do that. Um, what else? I would like to shampoo the office carpet. We'll see if I get to that. The bedroom is pretty okay. I made the bed. Just sitting over there is some gifts, so yeah, we're gonna see what we can get to. That's what's all in my head, though, so. I think I'm gonna start with the kitchen because that just, like, eases my mind. I feel like when the kitchen is messy, I can't focus on anything else, so. Oh, let's get that going. Throw on a YouTube video or something. Oh, okay. Just watch me break I just removed everything off the floor from the office and we are now about to see how nasty our floors are. We're about to um, do a carpet shampooing, have not done it since we've lived here so it's definitely past its time, could use one. I just filled up the water tank, it's my first time using this thing so hopefully I can figure it out. The only thing is I'm not moving all the desks and everything because like why am I gonna shampoo under there? It's kind of annoying and Zane's whole setup is like so specific. He did all his like wire management and he doesn't want me to move his speakers so we're gonna do the best that we can with what we're working with so let's see how it goes. First I'm gonna do this spot. Let's see what the tank looks like. Hey 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 you're gonna knock that down. I should put that on the floor. Is that gonna hold? Yeah. Okay one two three. Let's get this machine up in here. I'm very excited. I just messed up the lighting pretty bad in here. I talked to Google because I don't have it on my phone. Zane is the only one that has the app on his phone. He needs to set it up on mine. And so I can't get it back to bright white. So <laughs> here we are. It's fine. Warm green white or something. Oh, can't you just go like this? Duh. All right. Plug her in over here. I'm reading instructions this time because I definitely don't want to mess this up. With foot, press the gray recline pedal located next to the power pedal. There is no gray recline pedal. What? It was only on. Ben, you better watch out. It's going to spray water. Oh, okay. That's supposed to be gray. That's literally green. It says gray. That is literally green. Okay. Anyways, I'm scared. Power. <laughs> It already smells amazing. So you have to hold the trigger when you're pushing forward, then when you pull back, you let go of the trigger. I guess it like sucks up the water. So far, the water doesn't look too dirty. This isn't a very high traffic area. Oh, smells good though. All right, let's keep going. I'm gonna angle you guys down here so you can see the tank. Sorry about the lighting, I messed it up. Here we go. So this is where the dirty water fills up, and honestly, it looks just like white and foamy so far. But, like I said, not a high traffic area, so we're gonna do under here. The cats go back here all the time. Oh, snap! I was just telling Zane I need bright white in here. Okay, do you need to be on the Wi-Fi? He's like, I can try, and it worked. It worked from his phone.
All right, you guys, here we go. I have to empty and refill the tank. It's a smaller one, but I literally got up to here on the room, so I'm like like 75% done probably. It smells amazing, and if you're wondering, yes, I said screw it to my socks halfway through, so they're wet, but it's fine. <laughs> I was trying to tiptoe around it, and I'm like, eh, who cares? Check it out, though. I thought the water wasn't getting dirty. Look at it. Look at it right there. Oh my God, I'm gonna be doing this <laughs> not very often, but I am enjoying it. I will say that it's extremely satisfying. It feels so good. I hate carpet. If we could redo this apartment, I would put all of this floor throughout and just do area rugs. Zane wanted carpet in the office because it's good for him producing it, like kind of absorb sound and it's like just good for music, but I would just do it in this room if he like absolutely would not go against it. Otherwise I would do area rugs, but I would cut off the carpet here and still do floor in the living room and bedroom it definitely makes it cozy but it's definitely more upkeep and i find it harder to decorate in style and it just feels a little bit old school you know like area rugs are better but anyways um let's empty out this water all right i unplugged it from the wall so i don't accidentally electrocute myself but it says you release the latches then lift it from the carry handle okay Wow, look at that. You guys, oh my God. That is so satisfying. To empty, use the back of the tank. Oh, it says empty dirty water here. This is so easy. Update, if you watched my last vlog, this candle that I got smells like nothing. I've had it burning for hours. Magnolia and ginger. It smells like absolutely nothing. <laughs> Unless I was just used to the woodwick because that one was super strong. Okay, here we go. Ew! I should have vacuumed before I did it. Oh my nasty. Don't worry, I'm gonna clean this sink too when I'm done. It also says to just rinse this out really quick. Okay, I'm not gonna go too crazy. It's obviously just gonna get dirty again. I have to say that even though it's tiny and compact, I love that because since we didn't want to move too much furniture, I can get in like all the crevices over here because it's so narrow. Like, it's super narrow. And I believe you guys that I spent like 90 bucks, maybe like 80 something. It was super affordable. And so far, so simple. Now you just Flip it back on. Then with this, you just, it literally has lines on it. You fill it with the water, then fill it with some formula. Snap it on, and it moves really easily. It's not even that heavy. I'm loving this so far. I feel like the ones that we, when we had the flood inside in the bedroom, we rented one. It was just massive and bulky. Like, this is like a little tiny vacuum. I don't know, very pleased. Alright, here it is after doing the rest of the room. Feels amazing. Almost done with the liquid again. I went over a few spots a couple more times as well and it feels so good. I can't wait to do the living room. Oh my god, it's gonna be so good. I feel like it's definitely more high traffic than in here. Like this is where we have guests and everything. So um, I'm gonna take a break and make some dinner. I'm gonna close off these doors so that the cats don't come in here. I might not do the living room tonight. We're gonna see how lazy I get after dinner, but I'm really hungry right now. Getting quite hangry actually. And so a big part of me wants to just order food but I committed to cooking something for you guys, so I have to do it. If I really wanted to order that bed, I would, but I already thought everything out, and so that would bother me if I didn't cook. I really want to try the new um, cauliflower rice at Chipotle. I want to go next week. Okay, yay! That was definitely a success. Oh my god, I put that puff on there so that they wouldn't sit on Zane's new chair, and she got on top of the puff. How did... And he's on that one. That's why I knew Benji would love the swing chair because it seems like something he's not supposed to be on. But little does he know it's for him. And so I think that's why he likes it because they cats like to go on things they know they're not supposed to. Like I literally put this here so that they wouldn't. <laughs> oh my God, that's so funny. You sleeping? I let you sleep. Okay, first things first, we're gonna fill up our water because I have not drank enough water today at all. Zane would be mad. <laughs> I will admit, I'm definitely better about drinking a lot of water in the summertime or when it's warm or hot. Ah! What the heck? Everything just threw itself at me. Like, why? Our favorite General Tao's frozen. I mean, obviously, 
from the authentic restaurants is great. But frozen easy at home. This is so good. What are we doing here? 400. We get this at Lidl. I'm pretty sure it's at other places too. I think it's a popular brand. I've talked about it so many times though. Okay, we have to open it and thaw out the sauce. Put it in a bowl with some warm water. All right, now we're gonna start making the crab ragoons. The chairs just really scared me in the living room. I don't know if I caught my face. This cookbook stand is from Amazon. It's my favorite thing ever. Just unfolds like that. And I'm using the Skinny Taste Air Fryer Cookbook, also on my Amazon store. Crab and cream cheese wontons, if you guys remember of a little while back. I tried to make these with imitation crab meat. Was not good. So we're using real crab meat and I hope they come out good this time. All right, so you need some cream cheese. This is just Neufchatel, same thing. Some crab meat, it actually only says two and a half ounces. And guess what, this is eight. Is this in water? I don't know, I don't think so. Oh, it says picked over for bits of shell. Is there any shell in here that I have to pick out? Mm. Scallions. I think I also messed up there last time too because it says two scallions and I had them pre-chopped so I just guesstimated how much but now I have them whole so we're gonna do that. Soy sauce, wonton wrappers, and an egg white. And then it says sauce for dipping Thai ch sweet chili. I don't have that. I bet it has sesame in it anyway. So we'll just dip them in whatever. I usually just honestly eat them plain when I order them out. Or duck sauce. I have packets of duck sauce. So we'll dip it in something along those lines. But it seems quite simple. I do want to see how many wonton wrappers I have because I might double the recipe. Two and a half is five ounces of meat. And I still have eight in here. Wow. I'm going to get my mat that I'm going to make them on ready so that I can count them out. Okay, I think I definitely have 30 here, so I'm gonna double it. If anything, we'll just have some extra filling, which I'm not mad at, so that means we need four scallions. However, these scallions are massive from Lidl, so, and they're kind of going a little bit bad, but let's see. Here's a decent size, one, two, three, four. Okay, I'm gonna pick those four. I'm gonna rinse them off, and some of it's going bad anyway, so I'll just pick the bad pieces off and it should equal about like a normal size scallion. All right, I'm gonna clean these really quick. Now I'm gonna use this to cut my scallions and then put our finished wontons on it. Is this good? Are you guys gonna be able to see me? Hello. All right, all right, in the bowl, first we're gonna put the cream cheese and crab weighed out. So we're gonna do eight ounces of cream cheese. Her recipe calls for four, but we're doubling, and it does say room temperature. So I'm debating on what to do about that. It's gonna be really hard to mix if I don't let it get to room temperature. Maybe I can nuke it in the microwave for a little bit. All right, I just looked it up. You can just microwave it in like 10 second spurts until it's like softened a little bit. So I'm gonna do that. Hair scared me again. All right, perfect. Now it's nice room temperature. We can at least mix it. Never used crab like this before. I've had fresh crab legs and imitation crab, but I've never had like a packaged crab. It smells like crab. No. It says picked over for any shell bits, but I literally don't see any. This looks like good quality crab though. Oh, there is a little piece of shell. <gasps> How am I gonna find those? It's so tiny. I guess I'm just gonna throw it in here and quickly look. I'm not seeing anything. It defrosted great though. I was nervous that I froze it and it might be weird, but it feels fine. I don't see any shells. I'm getting lazier as I go along to look. Oh. Ooh, I got something else. Oh, another piece. Oh, I see. You could really feel it. Okay, I get it. Five ounces. All right. And then the rest of it, I'll like make a little mini crab salad tomorrow or something with some mayo. Yeah, it just as consumed within two days of opening, so I think tomorrow it'll be still be fine. All right, we're gonna chop up four scallions and four garlic cloves, put them in the mixture, mix it together, and then we're gonna fill. Last time I think I put way too many, and my heart is telling me that this is already too many, so I'm not gonna put all of it, but I'm gonna put, I don't know, let's see if I feel. I mean, I love scallions, but I feel like that's enough. Okay, so I'm gonna set the rest of these aside. Oh, my eyes. I'll use them to top our chicken with. Okay, my camera stopped recording and I didn't realize, but I just put the garlic in the bowl with everything else. It was finely minced. 
We're also adding in four teaspoons of reduced sodium soy sauce. One, two, three, four. All right, Zane just texted me that he's actually on his way home early, which is amazing because I'm cooking right now, so we'll be able to eat together. But here's what the mixture looks like. It looks better than last time. Now it says to mix it all with a fork. So we're just gonna get that all combined. I'll get you guys in here. Wow, I think this is gonna come out better than last time. This already looks and smells much better than the last time. I'm excited now. I feel like the texture is better, like less scallions. I'm glad I didn't put all of them in. I feel like this is gonna be much more of a success. And this time we have like the regular air fryer, not the um, toaster air fryer. So I feel like it's even more accurate now. Okay, I would say that that is pretty thoroughly combined. This will be good on some toast too. Mm, okay. I'm gonna get the chicken set up so that when I put the first batch in, then we're ready to go. We've got our little thing of water to dip our finger in, our tablespoon to measure it out. I'm gonna show you one and then we'll speed through it. So you take it like a diamond and it says one level spoon. So I'm gonna make sure that I try to even out this mixture so we can actually make 30 of them. That would be nice. Center of the wrapper, okay. Level tablespoon, cute. I feel like these are gonna be so much better than last time. Then you dip your finger in the water, run it along the edges of the wrapper, and then you just form it into a little triangle and press it closed. Just make sure that they're sealed and there you have it. Oh, hello. There you have it. <laughs> All right, let's do this. I won't make it easy for you now. up my time and I don't really break too easily but I'm worth it cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight oh so give me so give me your all I'll take it I'll take it to Mars oh I'll stick like this. okay everyone I do have to say that I definitely tr tried it on hello I definitely tried it on my finger before I washed my hands and it was absolutely delicious So I think these are gonna be so great try number two success already I just wiped them down with the egg wash. I just have some from a carton So it says one so obviously we would do two large egg whites. That's water. That's not egg But I just put it in here and then like I'll add more if we need more But I'm starting with the 15 so I did half of them. I just preheated the air fryer So that's good. I was watching my dad's video if you haven't seen it, um, I actually forgot to even share it anywhere because this is my first time watching it anyway, but we did a cooking video together on my dad's channel. If you didn't know, he has a channel. Get him to 10K, you guys. He's at like 7 point something. We need to get him to 10K. Um, but it's really cute. He like left in a lot of cute moments. So I was watching me and him cook while I was cooking just now. Um, so I'll leave that linked down below if you want to watch his video. But the chicken is in the oven. And so I'm going to get these started up in the air fryer. Zane's on his way home, working out really well. All right, I'm gonna be sure to spray the basket and we're gonna make them in an even layer. It was preheated at 340. I ended up doing a little bit less than a tablespoon like leveled off. I felt like it was a little too much. I was having a hard time. Maybe if somebody's experienced, they could do the full tablespoon leveled, but I was having a hard time closing them. So I started to do just a little bit less so that it was easier for me. All right, that's good. I'm gonna start with eight. That's what they look like in there. I egg wash both sides. We're going 340 for eight minutes, flipping halfway. Oh my God, check it out. I literally just started that and there's eight minutes left on the chicken. Like talk about perfect timing. I actually should flip these around a little bit. Oh, they're so good. socks were all wet from before so my life on slippers okay oh part of me wants to make the rest of these so that i'm just done but also part of me wants to eat what do we want to do i'm just real excited because i would usually just go to takeout for something as tedious as this but these are air fried so they're not deep fried like the original ones and it's just so much better 
Um, like when we made the pupusas, we made them traditionally and I'd rather just go buy them from somebody that knows how to make them better. But for making something, the healthy version of something I really enjoy, I feel like is so nice. And this honestly is not that difficult. It's just definitely a tedious process, but it's worth it to have something that isn't deep fried, you know? All right, I made exactly 30. Had a tiny bit left over, but I'm just leaving it there. Not enough for another one. Got the rest here, another batch is in there. Zane just plated everything. How's my plating, babe? Good, but my things exploded. I'm a little sad about it. I think we overdid them just slightly, but let's give it a go. It looks great. I'm so, so hungry. hungry. I'm gonna take a picture. Who am I? Hmm. What? One more. Not as good as the I need restaurant. To I need to finish the whole one. They're a healthy version of the restaurant. Just keep that in mind. You think you overdid them a little? No, not at all. What? I they're think they're good? really, really great. Liar. They're a tiny bit fishy. But I still think they're mad good. Like, isn't it apparent that it feels like almost tuna? Not even like crab. Like a tuna casserole in a one. A little bit? They're still fire though. Wait. They're fire. You eat salmon. I know. I don't mind the fishiness. Yeah. I was telling because you don't like fishiness. But it doesn't taste like that raw though. These are definitely better than last time. Last time was something like that. Way better. Yeah, these are good. Yeah. I feel like if I got these somewhere, I'd be like, oh yeah, they're good. Yeah. I'd be like, they're not deep fried though. I don't know, man. That air fryer is something, something special. I wanted... Oh, there's like five minutes. It's going to get them in your sauce. Do you like that sauce? I think so. Try it. At the Chinese restaurants, you know those chips that they give you and the orange sauce? Is that that? Yes. Yeah, they're not like it. Mm-hmm. It's good on there. Yeah, why does it taste... Mm. I mean, it's freaking fish, but they don't taste like this. I bet you this is probably why. Because she probably beefs it up with more meat, whereas at the place it's probably mostly cream cheese. Probably. You know? I mean, hey, I still think it tastes really good. Mm -hmm. All right, I made all the rest of them. They don't look pretty. They literally every single one exploded. I'm just not good at this crafty stuff that so you have to like make stuff form and look good. <laughs> I would not be a good like cake decorator. I'm just not handy like that. I can make like a piece of chicken and some veggies look nice on a plate, but <laughs> stuff like this is not my forte. But they're really yummy for what they are. And I have a feeling that the more that they sit, the more I'm gonna like them, like heat it up later or even just like room temperature. I put them in this cute container that does not close. I got this from TJ Maxx or Marshalls, one of those and a lot of you guys said it was because there's heat in there but I try to put stuff in here that literally is not hot at all and it just always pops back open so it's just faulty but it's really cute and pleasing to the eye but I'm gonna let these cool before we put them in the fridge I'm just gonna leave the top off a little bit I wanted to show you guys these from Aldi they are so amazing they get you though because it says only 60 calories and they're mini it does say mini ice cream sandwiches but you cannot just eat one like my goodness where am i going these are it feels like there's like nothing in here they're really lightweight and airy we have one roll left but they really are like little mini like the size of oreos but with just some vanilla ice cream inside oh they're so delicious from aldi highly recommend i was actually gonna do it for me today though you guys i really just want to lay down i've been wanting to all day so i'm excited to relax didn't get to wrap presents but that's okay because valentine's day is a long time away so we can do that in another video and i'll shampoo the carpet another day also but i just want to lay down and relax so bad i'm so glad i worked out this morning i don't think i'm a nighttime workout person my body just like at nighttime like gives up you know the cold weather man it makes me so lazy my nose is stuffy because the chicken was spicy that's why i have a stuffy nose anyways thank you guys for hanging out with me today i hope you enjoyed cleaning and cooking and hanging out with me at home i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and i will see you all next time bye guys just watch me break it.